Good day, friends. Paul here. And like yourselves, I've been fascinated with solar LED light technology, like this little guy right here. And I've taken it apart and gone through some of the components here. And I'd like to break this down for you today because this is very interesting. Centering around on this piece, for example, the QX S521 solar LED light driver controller. It's a switch circuit with a lot going on. This is a little bit more than your standard transistor. Indeed, it's an application specific integrated circuit. Let me bring you in close here. You can see that part number QX S521 with four pins different than your typical NPN or uh, PNP transistors. So what that's all about is here are the components. Here is the driver, the LED lamp, and the solar panel, which is that square guy right there. And this is, happens to be a 1.2 volt, looks like 100 milliamp battery, but this circuit can take up to 1.5 volts, one and a half volts. It operates anywhere between 0.75 to 1.5 volts. And so we've got the LED element here, very low voltage. The solar panel, 1.2 volt, rechargeable battery, of course, charged by the sun, and the four pins. The LX pin is the light pin going to the LED and intersecting with the positive terminal from the battery via a 330-ohm resistor. On this particular circuit, there is no inductor that I can see, even though on the spec sheets and some articles I've read online, typically these circuits do have uh, an inductor. So that positive out from the battery and the light out from the driver are uh, both connected via this 330-ohm resistor. The second pin is VSS, or ground, going to the negative terminal of the battery and the negative terminal of the LED pin. The third pin is where a lot of interesting things um, are happening here. It's the solar panel pin um, with the negative terminal from the solar panel going into the SPN pin where there is an operational amplifier which detects if the solar panel is supplying nominal voltage. Now if the voltage is below what I'm assu assuming to be below that 0.75 operating voltage, the LED light is going to go on. Basically if this battery is charged and, and that solar panel is dark, like I'm putting my hand over it, that is going to be on. And turning it towards the light, it goes off. So that's all happening through detection of that operational amp amplifier on the SPN pin. Now, there, the Schottky diode prevents the battery discharging into or through the solar panel. Pretty cool to discover how these things work. They're everywhere. They're ubiquitous, um, very convenient on camping trips, around the yard, garden lights. There's some really pretty cool colors. Maybe some of you watching this video have some of these in your yard. They're absolutely beautiful, the fading colors, all with free electricity from the sun. Thanks for tuning in, friends.